In this lesson, I'm going to show you a really fun feature that we are going to be implementing. This is one of the blocks I love. And what you can see in most blocks is a list of articles. Now, when you click on one of those articles, it takes you to a page where you can see the details of that article. Notice the URL right here. Okay. So if we go back, click on another one, you can see right here, we have the details of this article, but notice the URL it's changed. So if we go back, click on another one, the URL changes and we see the details of this article. So what's happening here? What is happening is on this page, the database fetches the details of this specific article and displays them here. And it fetches these details depending on what is in the URL right here. Sounds fun, right? This is called dynamic routing because we can't have a blade.php file for all the articles in our database, right? So let's talk about this. What we want is when the user clicks on view, it opens up the details of this to do and displays them on a new page for a single to do. Let's go ahead and get started. The first thing we are going to do is go to our web.php file, which is in the routes folder. And we are going to register a route for this. So we're going to say route get, and this is going to be to use slash. And here I'm going to pass in to do like this. And this is the name of the dynamic field that we are going to use to know what specific to do the user is trying to see. Then we're going to pass in the to do's controller at show method. So the show method right here is going to be the method that is going to handle viewing a single to do. So if we go to the to do's controller, here, we're going to define a function called show. When Laravel finds out or detects that the route we are defining has a dynamic property and how does Laravel know? It realizes that the path has these curly braces right here. Then it's going to pass in an argument right here called to do. So this, you can call the name of the argument anything, but it's going to pass in right here, the to do, or we can call this to do ID. Okay. So what does this mean? This is a dynamic property called to do, just like we saw in the blog, we just checked every time we try to visit a single article. It passes a dynamic property right here, which is the name or the slug representation of that specific article we are trying to view. So in our application, Lavo says, whatever is passed here as the dynamic property, we are going to provide it in here as an argument into the show method. So here for us to see what is happening, we're just going to die dump to do ID. And don't worry about the DD function. It's a helper function in Lava that helps us queue the application and dump the contents of a variable. In other words, if you're used to PHP, then you should be used to doing something like die. Then you do var dump and then you pass in the, the variable that you want to dump like this. So die dump is just a short form for that. So now let's visit that route. We we'll visit our application. Remember it's slash to do's then slash then a dynamic value so we can pass in anything and you can see the dynamic value here is jdkd so we can pass in maybe a number so maybe one and you can see it dies the value right here as one so if we can pass this maybe as 12 you can see it die dumps the value here as 12. okay so now that we can successfully dynamically use this page to get whatever value, how are we going to use this to display the details of a to-do? We are going to use the model to fetch a to-do with this ID. So we're going to say to-do is to-do find to-do ID. And we are going to return a view to-dos.show and we are going to return these with a key or a variable called to do, and we're going to pass in the to do variable right here. Okay. Or we can also make this shorter by simply saying return view to do find right there. Okay. So Lavo gets the to do ID from the slog in the URL 
which is right here. So from this dynamic part of the URL, and then it uses that ID to find the specific to do using the to do find static method on the to do class, and it returns a view called to do's dot show. But we have to create that view. So we're going to go to resources, views, to do's, and we're going to create a file called show.blade.php. So in this file, I'll generate some HTML, and we also have to include Bootstrap, right? If we're going to use Bootstrap. So I'm going to copy the Bootstrap CDN and paste it right here. And here I'm going to say to do item. Okay. So in this view, we can do this to do then name because remember we render this view with a key called to do or a variable called to do and we can get the name because remember to do find is going to find a specific to do from the database with this id and this is going to return to us an object that returns the details or that contains the details of this to do then we can display the name right here. So if we come to application and refresh this, it tells us trying to get property name of known object because it couldn't find a value or a to do from the database with this ID. Let's try one because we know we have a to do with ID of one. Now you can see the to do right here. This is the name. Okay, have a look at that. So you can see quasi audit at do simers. So if we go to SQL Pro and refresh the database, you can see that the first one with the ID of one is quasi edit at do simers right there. So if we do two, then we should see Fuga. So let's try that. So if we change this from one to two, you can see we have Fuga, which means that it uses this ID to fetch the specific to do from the database and displays it right here. Now, the last piece of the puzzle is to actually have a link that can help us visit this. So we are going to go to our index.blade.php and instead of a button, we are going to use an A tag. And the href is going to be dynamic. So here, it's going to go to slash to do's, but we can't put one here, right? Because it's only going to be used to view the first to do. What we are going to do is use blade to dynamically generate the ID right here, which means that we are saying in this for each loop, which is right here, it should dynamically display the name and then also dynamically generate the ID right here and use to create the href. So let me show you what happens. If we go back to the to do's page, you can see that the view right here links to the first. Let me just view the page source so you understand more. So if you look at the page source, you can see we have ahref to do one, ahref to do two, ahref to do three, and so on to the last value, which means we have links to view the details of each of the single to do's in application. So if I click on this one, you can see it takes me to this page and I see its title. If I go back, click on this one, I can see its title. If I go back, click on this one, I can see its title. Let's give this page a little bit of design. So I'm going to go to the show.blade.php and I'm going to have the name to be the title of the page. So I'm just going to have a container. And here I'm going to have an h1.txt sensor.my5. I'm going to place that title. If I refresh, there we have it. Then I'm going to have a card with the details of this single to do. So I'm going to have a dot card, dot card default, then a dot card header, which is going to simply say details. And then I'm going to have dot card body. And inside here, I'm going to say to do description. And if we check out this, great. You can see we have details and then we have the description right here. Okay. Maybe we want to have this in a row so that we limit it. So dot row dot justify content center. And then here we have the call MG six and paste the content right there. If I refresh, 
great here's the content so you can see how we've implemented the functionality we saw in a block just right here so how do we achieve this block like functionality the first thing we did was go to our web.php file and we defined a dynamic route and the way we define the dynamic route is by adding these curly braces right here then we said this dynamic route should go to the to this controller and execute the show method in this show method we get the dynamic part of the route which is supposed to represent the to do id and then we return the view called to do's dot show and we send the data called to do which is going to be the result of finding the to do from the database right in the show.blade.php we display the name of the to do and then we display the description of the to do and here's how it works at the moment if we click on view we see the details of that specific to do that is awesome all right make sure you try this out and i'm going to catch you up in the very next lesson